context switching is a process where the operating system saves the state of a currently running process and loads the state of another process so that the CPU can execute that one. So it's basically the CPU switching between tasks. And this process involves saving and restoring registers, program counters, and memory mappings. An easy way to monitor context switching is with the VM stat command. So right here, VM stat, and this provides a real-time performance statistics. So if I run this, we can see we're getting real-time statistics every second, which is what this number one means. It's essentially telling to update every second. But if we look at the output here, what we're interested in is right here, CS, which is context switching. And this is the number of context switches that occur per second. So we can see I have several thousand occurring each second. And excessive context switching can lead to performance bottlenecks and system inefficiencies, as while each context switch takes a small amount of time, it introduces overhead as the CPU is not doing useful work during this transition. So basically, the higher the frequency of context switches, the more CPU time is wasted managing tasks rather than executing them. In other words, when context switches become excessive, the CPU spends more time saving and loading states rather than executing processes. And now the threshold for too many context switches depends on the system and its workload. For example, on a typical Linux server, which is what I have right here, I'm monitoring this with Grafana. So on a typical Linux system like this one, context switch rates of a few thousand per second are normal under moderate workloads. However, say, which is what I have right here, we can see it's basically consistently around 2,300. However, on a real-time system, even small delays caused by context switching can be unacceptable. In such cases, a few hundred switches per second might be too high. And so there are ways to reduce context switching, and there are quite a few ways, but one way to reduce it is to optimize thread and process management. So in other words, use thread pools to manage worker threads efficiently and avoid creating too many processes or threads unnecessarily. For example, if you code in Node, something you can do when you run the Node application is specify the size of the thread pool with this environment variable UV, UV thread pool size. So you should mess around with it and make sure you're not setting it to a number too high or too low, but if it's too high, you could cause excessive context switching. And of course, there's also on the operating system level where you can even fine tune the operating system scheduling policies to reduce unnecessary switches by doing things like increasing process time slices. I wanna thank you for liking and subscribing. Check out my courses and software in the description. Besides that, take care.